into the ring. I'm back a lot sooner than I expected. <laughs> Only a few minutes later. Uh, welcome to Post Purple versus Campbellsville University. Uh, I'm Frisco, and we're getting into it again. Now, this will be very interesting because now we're getting Samus versus Steve. I don't know if Post has that much Steve experience whatsoever. 
Um, of course, Steve is a very controversial character in this game, on the verge of getting banned from so many different places. Um, so at least I've already banned him. And, it, and it's one of those things where uh, getting it on Steve sometimes for the majority of the cast is, is a hurdle. It can be really tough. Uh, now, as Samus, blocks can do a lot to kind of negate a lot of Samus' projectiles, but Samus does have tools that can interact with those walls. And right now, we're seeing BK, uh, BK putting up the pressure right now on the Steve player. Ooh, low recovery. You hate to see it. Super unfortunate. If 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 Steve gets caught underneath the platform at all, he will, uh, you know, SD like that. He has a very unique recovery. Can very strong recovery if you know how to use it. Um, but yeah, it can be a little clunky like that sometimes. The up tilt doing really good job to get rid of all those blocks super quick. <clears throat> Only 47% on BK right now, though. And very good job kind of like just spacing out a little bit with Nair to kind of stop out a lot of the block usage right here. Missile is going to interact with side B, prevent a lot of approach with side B. Bomb going to give a little bit of room to be cave to recover. You can navigate around TNT pretty easily like that. Nair is really good at bringing those blocks down. But you do have to be careful about how the, how uh, kind of interact with Minecart. Uh, I know with Banjo, you can just kind of throw a grenade and it pops Minecart instantly. But though, I'm sure Samus has projectiles that can be well into Up smash, DIing in. You have to DI out that move. Uh, BK is still gonna, going to live though. 82% on Steve, 95 on BK. Ooh, Zare does good work against that. Uh, up B with a little Piazza. That is going to get punished with F Smash. Jeez. That F Smash is so strong. Yeah, you can't... It's so funny. You can't use projectiles to break down the walls. Which is really funny to me. I feel like projectiles shouldn't be able to interact with the wall. <laughs> It is very funny to me that it's like you, you have to use anything else but beyond projectiles. You have to have some sort of disjoint that can interact with the walls. And here we go. Really, this Steve's just taking their time. BK BK's also fine to take their t take his time right now. There's not really a whole lot that BK really needs to do. He, just, he can wait it out and just dash attack like that and just snag the kill. BK at 0% right now with a full stock lead. Zare. Mm. It's like, does BK doesn't need to interact really right now. He has the lead. Steve has to be the one to come in. And that's, you know, Steve doesn't have great mobility, but everything else about Steve you know, makes up for it. Up B. Dash attack, 91%, only 18 on BK. This is looking very much like BK is going to run away with this right now. Plenty, plenty of resources right now on, on Steve, though. Stone and iron. You have to be careful of, you're going to have to be careful of uh, Anvil, the percent that, that can bring. Using all the stone to just blow, build some walls. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. Mm, timing the fair. Oh, misspacing the dash deck. 76% on BK. This is looking mighty tough. No, oh, this is just kill percent now. It's gonna be super unfortunate if, uh, if BK loses the stock. Up B should take it though. Yep. Yep, especially on that platform, giving it a little bit of height right there. Oh, my bad. Zero to zero. Zero dash zero. Okay. That was my bad. But now post has... Uh, I forget. <laughs> I don't... I, I don't think... I think it's... I think it's uh, post down to seven and Campbell down to six. I'm pretty sure he lost two stocks. I'm pretty sure BK lost two stocks. Okay. 
So very interesting already seeing a Steve come out. We I know Post doesn't have a ton of experience against Steve, so it's very interesting to see BK kind of react to that. They're doing very well. Zare really showed up in the matchup there. But now with ECAC, we have our full stage list at hand. Uh, one can only hope. We go to Yoshi Story. I like Yoshi Story personally. Nobody ever wants to play on Yoshi Story, and I get it. I understand why. Do it for me, though. Play on Yoshi Story. It's eight six. Oh, it is eight six. I thought PK took lost two stocks. My bad. That's what I get. It's late, guys. It's late at night. Give me a break. I'm a little sleepy. It's okay, though. Now, now with BK, I know BK, um, we do tend to see a lot more, like, dual plats with BK. I think that Samus can kind of lend herself to be on, you know, whatever stage will make it work. Especially triplats. Triplats can work well for, for Samus. You know, I, I always say this now, after kind of realizing it. You know, you can just up B from mid-area and use it as a landing option on the top platform as like an escape route for Samus. Up B just works well in a variety of different stages. I don't think Samus has any bad stages, so it's like, it really just depends on whatever BK's in the mood for. Oh my god, we are going to Yoshi's Story! Oh my god, we're going to Yoshi's Story. This makes me so happy. I haven't seen Yoshi's Story in so long! Nobody, so, the primary thing about Yoshi's Story is nobody likes the, the, the slants on the sides. I don't think slants are that big of a deal in this game. Um, it just makes, it makes certain interactions at ledge a, a kind of happen a bit more often. Uh, we are getting Palu versus Dark Samus. I do think Palu might get a little bit more off that top platform than, uh, BK could. Now, BK can use the top platform as an escape option with a B out of shield. But Palu is more prone to kill off the top than BK is. So there, you, BK needs to be careful a lot of time going into that. Probably wants to be more even on the ground with Palu, kind of level. If he can. You don't want to be, definitely don't want to be above Palu. But at the same time, Samus does a decent job kind of waving in and out. Ooh, that was a really preemptive upbeat. ID. Right now, damage is racking up really quickly on BK. 43%. Palu only at 10. A lot of neutral teams coming out. And I know BK does struggle in this matchup. He does not like this matchup terribly so. Oh, uh, he's gonna get the grab back throw. DIing in! That's some information for Palu later on. That DI in means we can get back, down throw, back air. Down throw. DIing out that time. Going for the back air. Going to miss it. Cross up on the Zare, really interesting. Going for the follow up from the Zare, but not it's not true. You, you're not going to be able to do that. But next time, BK can try to go for the punish on that. Nair going to tech situation, but not able to get the fair follow up off stage right now. Can you stall out close quick enough? Oh, he didn't have a jump. Wow, he did not have his jump. 42% on Palu. This is looking a little tough for BK right now. Really just trying to take some time right now. So try to take out. Really wants to try and take at least one stock before going into the next run, set. Mm. Into tech situation. BK is really feeling a little frustrated. Really wanting to jump, but getting anti-aired a lot of time. Would, especially a lot of these small, like chip damage bits. Chip damage can be a lot more important in a match than one thinks. Oh no, that was so unfortunate. And it's gonna get evened out, putting post down to six. The footstool. The completely intentional footstool, everybody. <laughs> That's gonna even it out. Now, BK does tend to struggle in that matchup himself. Um, feels sometimes he feels very suffocated. But that was like an instant of Palo really it's like taking her time and like getting chip damage in with things like neutral B and side B. Uh, and then nairing when, you know, on the approach and whatnot. So right now, we're going to be getting Crimson Vexus out next uh, on the Terry. 
I do think this can be tough for Terry having to navigate Palu, though it's it is doable, you know. It is still a matchup that, you know, Terry has to deal with. Uh, and Terry does have some answers uh, to... Generally, he wants to... Generally, I feel like he wants to, like, shield and try to punish Palu Nair when he can. Though he does have some disjoints with things like Fair a little bit. Like, his legs do, are, do have intangibility on certain frames. Meaning he can interact with some of those hitboxes, but Palu has such a strong back air that's so, that's invincible. It is something that, you know, <laughs> how do you deal with that, really, as, as Terry? I guess you kind of, like, either, you know, clank with it somehow, with something with something that's invincible on your own, or you, you punish it on a misspacing, run up shield, uh, hope you can get some sort of jab-jab power dunk going. You over-profile it with Power Dunk, maybe. Um, it, but th they're not, like, the strongest options to really kind of try and contest something like that. And not many characters have strong options against things like Back Air, which is super safe. Or, like, how quick Fair is. Because um, even Fair, Fair is, you know, not many people talk about Fair on Palu. But that's still, that's a very strong poking tool. Now, if I'm Crimson, uh, pop, 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 pop. it's tough. I, I, it's it's really tough because I think you I think you do need to bring Palu to a flatter stage if you're Terry, uh, because I I think she's gonna kill off the top a lot more consistently than Terry is. Like even though Terry can, it's just that with something like up with like up air, you take a big risk and you start adding a lot of platforms because if you get caught on top platform, she's gonna come right at you. HB. Oh, we're going to Hollow Bastion. Not a bad pick, actually. Hollow Bastion. Going to have that middle platform. Palu is going to have, like, a lot of area to work with to kill off the top. But at least it's not, you know, a top platform on something like a battlefield. At, it, at the very least, it's kind of manageable. Um, but you, ha you have to make sure, as Terry, that you're punished. Trying to punish as many t landings as many times as possible when Palu decides to land on that platform. And also, if you can kind of fish out a landing there, you can use Power Gazer, potentially. Three, two, one, go! And here we go, with the, with the new should be already starting. So I've got Power Dunk, landing on platform. That's not, oh, that's not gonna get punished. Ooh, I thought he had that punished for sure. Going for a lot of these side Bs. He really wants these side Bs to connect. You gotta get the follow-up from side B. Back air. I'm pretty sure he still has his jump. Yeah, grab back. Go down throw. Jab into up B. Buster Wolf. Wow. Throwing that right out. 82%. Jab, jab. Buster Wolf. Oh, not able to get, not able to get the confirm into it, though. The power dunk, though, not a, quite enough to kill off the top, even percents. Gonna punish that landing with Buster Wolf. Again, when you land, you have a certain amount of frames that you cannot act. And making, powering through the, the jab. Wow, this is, wow, this is crazy. So many things happening so quickly. 29% on Palu right now. Really trying to go in on the Buster Wolf. di in on the back air. Back throw is gonna kill. Yep, back throw is gonna kill. Shield. I like this song too. I like the Gummy Ship song. Oh, la last hit of Nair. That fade back is so tough to deal with, especially if you don't have a great disjoint. And he's so hard to punish. Uh, when you land on platform above Palu, it's so tough that you gotta you have to hold shield and then hope that you find a moment to disengage. Off stage interactions. You have to be so careful when you use crack shoot, because then you 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 lose stage control and then you. Oh, you lose, you lose stage control and you lose. Like you're, you're at a ledge trap situation now. Fair, 95% on Terry. N nice fade. Nice uh, mix-up on the uh, landing. Go meters online. Power Gazer's going to get punished. 
Half tilt off stage. 80%. I actually, not gonna lie, I actually like that side B for the cross up to get off stage, because then. Ooh, oh my god. A lot of, oh, it's so tough. A lot of these. Oh my god. A lot of these specials are getting punished. Yeah, I, I do think Crimson needs to be very careful with where he decides to kind of throw them out. Ooh, the, the patience on this man right now. Track shoot. Nice low recovery. Yeah, he's making it way too obvious right now, and he's gonna get punished hard for it. Right now, he needs to go for a lot more grabs, like running in and grabbing somehow. He's gonna get punished because right now Palu is spacing him out. She's backing away and then uh, waiting for him to make an option and then punching based on that. A lot of shielding. As such, Crimson needs to make throwing some mixing with grab. Back throw. Yeah, 138. Can Crimson take one more stock? This Palu is opting for shield. Uh, oh, that's not true right at this percent at this point. Back throw is gonna confirm it, yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough. You when when you're getting shielded a ton, you need to mix in a lot more grabs order to kind of make them feel unsafe as if oh I can't shield this anymore you know I'm, I'm getting grabbed I need to do something to counteract that but yeah we just saw a lot of those specials getting punished out of shield and it was very unfortunate for Crimson but maybe the next time around he'll kind of catch on to that but uh, post down to three Campbell down to five So next up we have Kenny coming in. I do think that this will, you know, it's tough. I, I think this matchup's relatively even, though because pa Palu has some really big hitboxes and invincible moves that can kind of deal well with Grenade. But, you know, she still has to interact a lot, most of the time directly with Snake. I think Neutral B is gonna be a very strong tool against Snake. Uh, I think Neutral B just kind of chips away at Snake little by little. So I think Kenny will be, need, need to be con cognizant of that. You just always need to be so careful. You probably want to also bring... Mm, I, I don't know. Do you want to go to a flat stage where you can get grabbed by Palu? I think you need to do dual plat. I think you if we can see some sort of PS2 choice, I think that's best for Kenny. I think that's best. And we are on small battlefield. I think a good choice. I think a good choice. I think this shape does well for Kevin. And here we go. Neutral B. Yeah. Good job backing away. I think if anything, you need to opt to back away from the neutral B on Pallor. Ooh, got a poke with that with the down air. He's so good at dropping that C4. Ooh, good jab. Getting the follow-up. Covering high with C4, covering low with grenades. He did not like that C4 there. Ooh! What a good grass! Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that was such a good C4. Dash attack. Fair and attack. That's a true. Yeah, a lot of these approaches are going to get snuffed out by neutral B. Patience. 104 on Pally. 69% on Kenny. Nice. Down. And here's the tough part, because Kenny does not want to lose any stocks. And, and Snake can do that, but usually Kenny will usually Snake will lose at least one stock in a, in a match. Really good C4 timing. Only one more stock to go. Kenny needs to hold on to the stock as long as he can. He's going for way too many grabs. At this point, he really needs to kind of pop grenade a bit more. 
down here. Oh my god. Dash attacks and we get punished with another dash attack. This Palu understands that Kenny needs to an extent he needs to approach, but it's tough because they are in the lead, so she's just kind of biding time, waiting for the opportunity to take the stock. But I think I do think Kenny needs to try and wait it out as much as he can too. That can get punched with dash attack. Yep, there we go. Fair 150, 157 on Snake, looking really high in percent right now. Dash attack. Oh. Oh, uh, that's... Oh, he lived! I thought he was dead. I, I thought I thought even at that percent, that was going to kill. Oh, not even get the back air. You can tell he wanted that back air so bad. Waiting it out. Oh, good DI. Good DI, Kenny. Good DI. 200%. You live in a long time. Oh, no. You landed. You air dodged too early. You were too greedy with that air... Well, too, too impatient with that air dodge. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. You'll get the kill eventually. You just have to be patient. Oh no! Not if you blow yourself up, Kenny. No. <laughs> I will get the grab. I will get the grab again. That's a grab. Back throw. Yep. I'm trying to predict the high recovery. Not to get that though. Good down tilt to keep the spacing going. Dash stack. High recovery. Good back away. Kenny. Kenny's doing well at keeping his spacing right now. Both players don't want to do too much. F Teller is going to kill, right? No, not quite enough percent. Oh, well, be careful that C4, Kenny. Good up tilt. Good up tilt. Good up tilt. Very good up tilt. All right. Kenny closes, the, closes that gap a little bit, making it down to three on Campbell and two left on post. This is definitely winnable for Kenny. Especially as Snake. Um, you, depending on the matchup he gets thrown his way, he can opt to just not interact. And, you know, that can... Snake from behind is not the worst thing ever. It can be tough, but depending on the matchup, he might be able to, you know, he might not have to interact at all. And then he can kind of swing it back. It, it will take some time, but he can swing it back. However, other characters will force Snake to have to approach um, and use Grenade as like his kind of zoning tools for as such. You will see. One moment. Town and City. Now, Town and City. Uh, for Snake, Town and City is like kind of like a half and half stage. I think it's fine. I think Snake works well on pretty much any stage because he can make Town work because he's his owner. His owners tend to do decently on flatter stages because then people have to jump a lot more. But, um, again, Snake doesn't like getting grabbed. And the fact that Snake's on the ground means he's going to be a bit more prone to get grabbed. Especially against a character like Rob, who can also make use of that flat stage using Gyro and things of that sort. But but also, these characters are even weight, which means that trades mean a little bit less for Snake. So it's a little bit tougher for Snake, but the, it also means Rob is a bigger body. He'll tend to fall into projectiles a bit more. Ooh. Fortunate stage interaction already. Damage building up a little bit on Kenny. Ooh, really good C4. Quick 44%. Quick 53%. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Good jump. Good dash attack to cross up shield. Anti air with the back air. Oh, American air dodged. Almost not getting punished for it though. Down tilt. Missing the tech. 84% on Rob. <laughs> Was he trying to get the roll out? <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do. Up tilt is going to get hit that sneaky little kill. 51% on Snake Red. Hold shield, hold shield, hold shield. Not able to get the follow up from there. I will say, those, these side platforms, Kenny needs to be really careful about when he decides to hit these side platforms because Rob can kill so early up the sides. Oh, he's gonna, oh no, he's stuck on platform. He needs to go high. He needs to go high. He needs to go high. Really good, really good air dodge right there. Just taking it nice and slow for Kenny. Just takes it nice and slow. He can afford to wait it out a little bit. Back throw. Ooh, covering the high option. Putting a little bit of pressure on the high recovery. Taking your time. Oh, that was unfortunate. Dropping shield a little too early. Oh, that could have been a sneaky back air. Not able to get the back air out, though. Oh, did, did, did grenade shield poke? I don't even know. Oh, gyro. That's so unfortunate. We're <laughs> opting to take the chance at a low recovery and getting in hit with invincibility for that C4. So smart for Kenny. So smart. So smart. Both roll out. Good spot dodge. The weak hit of up tilt. Oh my god. <coughs> so sneaky. Turning this around 29%. Kenny. Kenny is not letting any stock difference get in his way. Jeez. Damage? Stocks? What are these? I don't. I only need the one stock. Will we see the three stock? 144% on stake already. What did you have? That almost killed already. Nikita doing so much work. No way! Wow! <laughs> Kenny. Oh, we reflected. Yep. Robo Laria is going to take it. Now, 107 on Rob. Trying to go for the up tilt to, to steal it out. At this point. It's done. <laughs> I was I was going to say that Rob at this point could do some, you know. Uh, I think we got disconnected. Yeah, error occurred. Got disconnected. But Kenny does seal it out for post on the first round. Now, at those percents, at those percents, Snake still needs to be, even at zero, very careful because the blast zones on town and city are super. Oh no, it was Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny got hyped. He went, let's go. <laughs> so they'll be back. <laughs> Kenny got too excited. But again, I was gonna, I haven't finished my thought yet. <laughs> Lab is destroyed. <laughs> oh my God. But again, Snake has to be very careful at 0% because the Blast Zones on Town and City are super small, and Rob can kill off the side super easily with Robo Larian, with some zero to death. So even with Rob at 107, with that last stock, Kenny needed to be super careful. And it's looking like... Hmm. I think we might be getting Denny right now. I do not know if that's the case, but I think we're getting Denny. Which I think it's not a bad choice. But if you if if um if Post gets Steve again on the top end of it, uh, I'm wondering how Denny feels about fighting Steve. I feel like Ike... <coughs> I feel like Ike has a decent matchup against Steve. Um, using fair to kind of break down blocks. But... I don't know. I really don't know. I, that's one matchup I don't see that often. You would think that because Cloud has a decent matchup, and Ike is very similar to how Cloud plays. Just a little slower with a 
with a kind of more degenerate swings, I'll say. Like he can kind of swing without really needing to worry about too much. I feel like Ike would have a decent matchup against Steve. If that's what we're doing. I love tea at this time of night. Chills me down. I wish I want this cough to go away though. This cough has been around for months now and it's bothering me. Kenny's hype right now. Kenny's so hype that he got that he, he he got that match. <laughs> Kenny pops off. I'm pretty sure we got Denny. <clears throat> I'm getting a Kenny tattoo to fire. What would that tattoo be of? <laughs> Just Kenny's face? <laughs> Ken Kenelina or something like that. Kenny with an I. There we go. Kenny with an I. <laughs> yeah. That's, has, that's, a, that's really funny. That would be a good drawing. That would be a good drawing of Kenny. <laughs> you got to get it done. But now we are we are getting Ike versus Palu. And I do think <clears throat> this, is, this can be a little tough for Ike. He has tools to deal with this stuff, but Palu likes the anti-air with Nair and things like that. And back air. And chip damage. <clears throat> Pal two. And chip damage can be, a, you know, a problem. Well, going right for the charge with that side beat. You like it. Um, misspacing a little bit. Oh, trying to read. Trying to. I don't know if you expected the roll. Or he thought that they rolled in or something. I'm not sure why he dashed away for the grab. Uh, but now you're above Palu. Really good fade back on the Nair. Good bear to cover the option. Dash back is going to get caught mice. Uh, uh, explosive flight. Nair going for back here. Miss spacing it a little bit though. Nair to fair. Oh, real greedy. Denny's being real greedy right now. I do think Denny needs to be a little bit more patient. I think he can afford to not go for the big reads. I think he has he's at a bit of an advantage right now with this with this big disjoint. And this Palu is really playing a bit more defensively. He can afford to be patient. You no, know, running off fairing. Yeah, you're gonna got him that. Now you have to get back to the ground somehow. Yeah, you got a neutral get up through that. Oh, 
Keep it side B. Oh, the, neither of these... Yeah, they're he, both players are having a tough time connecting right now. That's going to get punished back, though. He's going to take it. Yep. Yep, yep. <clears throat> yeah, I got to be super patient. I think Denny is really trying to secure this kill, but he can afford to be patient. He's, it's fine. He can, like, zone out a bit with F tilt. You don't have to run off. Don't run off. Don't run off. There you go. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he probably couldn't have beat that, but the dash attack is going to take it. Tw only 23%. This is still... This is still very doable, of course. Only 37% on Denny right now. Plus, he has the potential to rack up damage super quick with like, only a couple hits. 22%. One thing I would like to see is if she tries to cross up with Nair, doing an up B out of shield and taking the, one of the hits. Oh, pot the parry. Good high recovery. Now you gotta get down. Roll out, roll out. Oh, bad call. That was my bad call. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get punished with down throw. Into up smash. Interesting read. Wow. Punishing the tech. Nair. Good SDI. Uh, I think that was SDI. Good grab into down throw. Up air. Not able to get it, though. Down throw. Up air. Oh, and, uh, up to up throw. <clears throat> Good cross up. Sometimes, so I've no, I do notice that this paddle does like jumping out of the corner. I think Denny can uh, throw out an upbeat if we get the anti air once in a while. She's gonna jump. Yep. He, in that point, he's pressured her into jumping. He could up B as the punish. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. Down throw into reading. Oh, back throw, back throw, back throw. There you go. Yep. She, she, this Palo really likes jumping out of the corner. <clears throat> he could be snagging so many kills off of that jump out of the corner. Down throw into back here. Yep. Oop. Catching his jump. Oh, dash attacks. So he has to be so patient because now it's he has to he, he can die from like any little thing now. Good throw, it's a up air. Yep, twenty two percent. Good spot dodge. There you go. There you go. I think he's uh, up air is gonna snag it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. At that percent, almost anything on Palo is going to kill. Valiant effort coming out of Denny. Uh, putting Post down to 6 and Campbell down to 7. I would probably send in Crimson at this point. I think Crimson... Not you. <laughs> no more Palu for the night? You don't, you're tired of the Palu matchup? I, th I think Crimson would do well right now. I, I do. Uh, kind of clean off the Palu and then go for something next. Palu matchup's not that bad, dude. It's not that bad. You have a better Palu matchup than my character has. And I, de I can deal with it. <clears throat> you just gotta you just gotta know when to like kinda zone out to zone out the nair. 
once you like figure out how to make the Nair not such a big deal, Palu, you know, is what back air. Back air is not that bad. It's it's tough, but sometimes it's easier to like choose. All right, I'm just not gonna get, try and interact when pairs out. But a part of Palu's general neutral is just trying to deal with her her Nair. If you can find a way around it with your character, which is easier said than done, um, then the the matchup becomes a bit more manageable. For me, it's mostly like run a dash back grenade, and well, that's how I tend to deal with it. Okay, so they are sending in Crimson right now. Are we getting a flat stage? Three, two, Battlefield. One, okay. Okay, okay. Now, I, I do... <coughs> I, I will say... I think this is a Palu stage. I think she's going to have an easier time killing off the top with things like a bear and whatnot. But... It's not awful for Terry. It, this at least gives Terry more movement around things like Nair and Fair, and even up air. And you can have you have different places to land. Back throw. Pretty good air dodge. Putting Palo into disadvantage. Trying to read the trying to get the option read the option of landing on the platform, but she's not gonna land there. Good roll underneath that. Not able to get the shield out quite in time. Power dunk. Not enough to get the kill yet. 125, though. We're, we're starting to see some big damage on Palu. Not even... Likely not even the go meter. Good. Good power dunk to get out of that option. Though you're still in disadvantage. Back air. DI out. Oh, my God. You have your jump. Oh, good air dodging. Good air dodging. Good air dodging. Uh, you have to be, no, he has to be so careful about where he chooses what he does. He needs to get a grab and he can't. She's gonna she's gonna shield. Yep, and she's gonna punish that. So unfortunate. But still, you have a lot of stocks to work with. Not able to get the shield poke on that. <laughs> I like how he just kicks her in the head. Good up smash. Good up smash. Good up smash. Putting post down to five, Campbell down to six. Okay. Crimson doing some really good job, doing a really good job, kind of getting a lot of these like general punishes on you know general on like these like recovery and in neutral interactions. The primary thing that Crimson is kind of dealing with against a specific player is that he's not getting enough grabs in against Palu, and so Palu feels safe in shield. She doesn't necessarily, she can just wait for an option. So it's a matter of mixing in more grabs to force her to have to choose. Do I shield this or do I get grabbed again? And here's the thing. It's generally safer to shield against Terry because, sure, Terry has some like shield breaking setups and whatnot, but he can't kill off of a grab. Um, so it's like you might as well just grab and then reset the situation. You know, you, you might as well shield and so you get thrown off stage reset the situation at the same time Terry needs to grab because he needs to beat the, those options so now we might be getting Rob or Steve uh, though we might also get a character switch. If it ends up being Steve, we need to see a lot of Terry's leg uh, hitting those rocks. <laughs> hitting those walls. I feel like either character does that against Terry. We're getting... Okay, we're getting Roy. I think this is really even. These Both these characters just want to smack each other in the face. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Good 
grab. Really good combo. Quick 36%. Bear. Good anti-air and super oh, double nair. Oh, that could have been a big punish. Catching the jump on that. <laughs> I, I really like the patience. Waiting for the roll in. Spot dodge. Wow. See, when Crimson get, gets to like fight directly against somebody, he does so well. Crimson's gotten so much better. It was a good dash back. Playing good footsies right now. Side B is going to snack it out too. Only 58% on Crimson right now. Oh my, outspacing that effect. That could have been bad. Mm -hmm. Reading the roll. They're rolling back out. Uh, up air, put a disadvantage against Roy. Back air. Gonna fade out of the power dunk though. Gonna get the back hit of it. And they, that's what they're gonna fall out. Got that power dunk. 80%. We're start almost seeing the lap in percent right now. And now here's the lap in percent. 105. Still holding on to. Uh, still holding on to the same stock as the start of the match. On on Crimson. A little bit more. We're gonna see go meter. Tilt. So the side beat not doesn't even need go meter. Doesn't even need it. And F smash is going to get snatched. Is going to solidify that stock. Even zero to zero. Can Crimson seal this out right now? These players are really trying to navigate around each other. I like these low profile attacks coming out of Crimson too. Just down tilts and down smashes. Not gonna get the cross up on the on the strong hit. Mm. Down tilt, power knuckle, burning knuckle, or whatever. Jab. Power dunk. 109 on Roy. And the la the last hit of side B is going to put it back in Post's favor. Crimson knows what to do when he is in right and direct control. He knows what to do when he can be right face to face with his opponent. Post up four. Campbell down to three. Now I assume we're going to be seeing Rob. I assume this is the Steve player. <coughs> and Rob... <coughs> Rob can have a tough time with Terry sometimes. He's a big body. He can get comboed. But Rob does everything still. There's some arguments of me being made that Rob might be the best character in the game. Not because <clears throat> of, like, any specific mechanic, but just because Rob does everything. He has amazing boxing tools. He zones very well. He has an amazing recovery. Um, he, can, he, can, he, can, has, he has zero to deaths. He can stall off stage. Uh, he has safe aerials. <clears throat> he has a little bit of everything. The only downside he has is how big he is and how easily he can get comboed. Um, and we are seeing, like, lately, <clears throat> like, there was a chart recently that Rob is the number one character, um, with win, I forget what the exact criteria was, but I think it's, like, wins, like, 20, if, like, any sort of win in, like, major tournaments, uh, Rob takes up, like, 20, no, no, not 20, um, I forgot the number, but he takes up the, the largest percentage of any character's wins in a tournament or something like that. I have to look at the chart again. <clears throat> so there's reason to believe that Rob might be the most consistent character in this game, at the very least.
I like this song. It's a banger. We're going to Kalos. <clears throat> I, I assume we're seeing Rob. Yeah, what song is this? Can I see the song? Now, Rob will have a little bit of an advantage on this stage. He can have Gyro kind of sit in the middle of the stage. He can wait it out on a side platform and use laser. He has big disjoints. He can kind of sit up there. He will have the advantage if, it, uh, if this is Rob. But of course, there are definitely some things uh, mobility-wise. We're getting... Okay, never mind. We're getting K rule. Um... A flat stage, I will say K rule on a on a flat stage will have crown. He will have blunderbuss, which means he uh, generally um, Terry will need to jump at some points. But it's a flat stage. K rule's not a very mobile character. I think Terry does have some decent stuff going. Going to the grab. Love the grab. Quick 62%. What such good percent. That was so smart coming out of Crimson right there. Jab, jab, power dunk. Quick 100. We haven't even touched 30 seconds on this clock yet, and it's already. K was already at 100%. Up smash. 120. Look at this. <clears throat> power dunk. K rule off stage. 140. And that's going to be the stock. Jeez. Cam Cam Campbellsville down to their last two stocks. Ooh, might not even need might not even need Kenny for this. <clears throat> oh, that was... Ooh. Wow! Jeez. That was so quick. That I was like, okay, he's safe because he can't get the back air hit for the spike. But he can combo... I guess he can combo back air into up B. Into up air, I mean. Post down to three stocks. Campbell down to their last two. But hey. I will say. Crimson did everything that he needed to do in that right there. <clears throat> he just needed to snag one more stock. And now Kenny can come on in and hopefully clean it up. Now. K. Rool has a big body. Uh, is going to be interacting with the grenade a little bit more. There's, you know, he has a lot of surface area. He's a big target, essentially. And I think grenades, you know, he can blunderbust the grenades, but I think they explode when, he's, when he blunderbusts them. <clears throat> so Kenny does need to, like, navigate, you know, the blunderbuss bullet itself and crown, which is a problem. It's not a massive problem. Kenny can kind of fly around with Cypher. Neutral be, would be reversed back down to the ground. Air dodge. And just kind of use grenades and C4 to plant them at, as he sees fit. Kenny, it's my bedtime. Seal it out. Finish it. It's BK's bedtime. It's my bedtime. I'm pretty sure it's Denny's bedtime. I'm pretty sure it was Denny's bedtime three hours ago. And we're going to Pokemon Stadium 2. I think a very good choice. Uh, Snake... Snake kills off the top with his projectiles. So, like, a middle platform. I think Snake gets the most benefit out of a top platform when he's, like, camping. 
up there if he really wants to. And he can do that against a large swath of the cast, but I wouldn't. sometimes I wouldn't even take that risk because I do think that K rules up B, up air, uh, you know, why, why, why even let him have the chance of killing you early with that up air? I, th I, I would, I think a, a dual plat will work just fine against K rule. So I think this is a good choice. Three, two, one, go! Look at the, look at that man, shimmy. Some grenade pops. Okay, roll. Going into the follow up with Nair. Down air for the tech chase. Yeah, he's not going to be able to use. He has to do Nikita at a different angle than normal against K. Roll. Just because of the uh, upbeat. The hitbox on it. Uh, he could have gone for grab from that crown. tough part when you're at the edge of the, the range of those projectiles it can be a little tough your, your, your grenades can start popping and spilling a little prematurely and then you take start doing a little bit more damage good c4 good ciphers i mean uh, nakitas what am i talking about Ooh, that was a really good dash grab the last hit of nair is going to seal up the kill putting Putting Campbellsville down to the last, their last stock. Kenny down to 76%. And that's going to be a kill following up from that grenade. Up, beat, up air is going to take it. So now Kenny does need to be careful. There's always a chance that he can get gimmicked with things like, you know, uh, neutral beat, back throw, high recovery. Kenny can afford to take his time. Kenny just needs to take his time. Pop some grenades. Go out once in a while. Or maybe not. I will say this cable is doing a, is doing a good job at kind of interacting with Kenny as he's pulling grenades. So maybe he does need to speed it up a little bit. Ooh, really good weight on the up air. Ooh, the powering right through the grenade. Jab into grenade into good up air. Wow, that would almost that would have been death if it was a little bit of more suspect di. And Kenny seal it out. Belly, belly armor going right through that C4. 164 on K roll. He can't live for much longer. Really good air dodge ledge. <laughs> Jabbing right through with the belly armor. <laughs> Does not want to commit right now. And you shouldn't. You should not really be committing against Snake. <laughs> Using belly armor to. Belly armor is almost probably almost gone at this point. Up till the grenade. Grenade is saving Snake right now. Because <coughs> Kenny had a grenade in his hand and he got buried. <coughs> oh, Kenny needs to seal up this kill now. He cannot afford. Especially with K Roulette with Rage. Good, good, yeah, very good. <laughs> that was so awesome. It was scary. <clears throat> it's definitely scary, even with the stock lead, because you don't want to lose that stock against K rule. Because K rule can cheese you a few different ways. Plus, K rule with rage is no joke. He can kill super early, depending on what <clears throat> he hits you with. So you want to solidify that now without potentially losing the stock. And it's just funny because you bo you're both running up, you're shielding, making sure you can't hit each other. But it's the perfect opportunity for a snake to just be like, oh, you're shielding? I'm just going to grab you and, get you and put you into my, you know, my most well-known confirm of down throw up tilt at you know, 159. <laughs> <clears throat> Super good stuff coming out of Kenny. And Post takes it. Definitely huge GG. Huge win for Post. As huge win. 2-0 over Campbellsville. Really solid stuff. And I'm surprised we got the K rule pick at the end. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the Rob. But hey, really good stuff coming out of post tonight. Really good stuff coming out of Campbellsville. Love to see it. But that's been our ECAC match for the matches for the night. Uh, I have been Frisco. It was good to see you guys again so soon. Uh, it was only like a few minutes between matches. Didn't expect another match tonight, but here we are. And it's, it was always wonderful to do this for you guys. So, 
Thank you again. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> it's my it's my bedtime. So, but I'll see you guys next time, uh, and hopefully that's soon. Y'all have a good night. Bye.